Hello everyone, welcome once again in my YouTube channel and in this video, I am going to talk about how we can collect information using adaptive card. In last video, what I created is how you can display information using adaptive card. So here, based on the customer input, if they want to book a flight, we'll create an adaptive card where we'll collect information and if they don't want to book a, a flight, we'll show information that next time you can book a flight or thank you message something like that so and this is once again a, a video in a co-pilot video series where i am talking about co-pilot features and how you can create flight customer support using microsoft co-pilot studio so if you haven't watched all those videos go and watch it because that is how you will have complete information that whatever i explained so far and you will able to relate in this video so let's start and see how we can design a form kind of adaptive card in microsoft copilot studio so friends so far what like whatever i created let me give you a demonstration that how this copilot is working and based on that you will have better idea so let me test this copilot like want to book a flight so now it will give us option yeah delhi then again two location pune then booking date 2024 08 and 10 and then booking date oh date is not right so i will give 2024 08 and 10 so now this is what we have as a message like flight number from and to and want to book up this flight so we have two options here one is yes i want to book this flight and another option is no i will book another later so my friend based on these buttons these options we need to create further flow if customer wants to book a flight then in that case we'll collect information if customer doesn't want to book a flight then we'll show another message and uh, and this is what we'll do using adaptive card so it will be very much like you can say user friendly very much informative and that is what i'm going to uh, demonstrate in this video so my friend what we have to do is we need to set some flag like if customer is clicking on yes i want to book a flight we'll have some uh, like some options as a as a result and when customer is clicking on no i don't want to book uh, i will book another flight later we will have another option for that my friend i already did that but let me show you so you will not uh, you will not have any kind of confusion in that case so what i will do is i will go here and click on properties and here my friend you can see like uh, we have actions and action submit and that is where you can see in data section we'll have action and here you need to add the uh, the value you want to return either it is dynamic like like we have in this case either it is uh, you can say it is fixed so that is what you can show and in case customer is selecting no i will book another later in that case i have uh, this as a action so action we will have uh, in next step that is what we can access and check that what value we are receiving uh, on the in the previous submit action so we have two values here one book flight and another one is uh, i will book another letter and choose another later that is what option we have so my friend what we will do is we will add here a condition so based on that we will do so what i will do is i will search action equal to the value we have that is book flight i think that is what i have as a so let me check once again i will go in properties and i will just copy that uh, value so we will not mismatch and it will go in a right direction so here in data section we have book flight i think i have correct one 
so that is what i will put here book flight and in another case like if a uh, customer is not selecting the right one then uh, obviously it will go in a second thing if we have multiple option in that case we can add multiple conditions here but in our case we have just two option the first is when customer is going to book the flight and another one when customer is not going to book the flight in this case my friend we will add a adaptive card where we will collect information from customer and i already designed it i will explain how we can design it but let me first so that that just so i will add ask with adaptive card and we'll go here in properties and here we will paste that and then we will save it so you can see this is what we have and i already explained that how you can design your adaptive card so again i will explain i will explain little bit so we'll have better idea about it so my friend you can see here what we have is in the same way let me uh, bring our notepad so we'll have clear idea so my friend i will paste here so here you can see like uh, in a way let me save as a json file so we will able to get the formatting and based on that we will able to understand it in a proper way so here my friend you can see the first the part we have as i told you that that, that is schema and this is fixed that is what we uh, get from microsoft then we add type here and that is adaptive card the version the current version is 1.5 and then body so under body my friend body you will take as a array and under body the first element we have that is going to end here if under body you want to add multiple forms in that case you will have multiple uh, brackets here but in our case in this array we are adding one uh, one element you can say one form or one card in that case we have uh, only one bracket so my friend the type is column set as i explained to you that in case you want to make like multiple columns in that case you can add column set and in that column set it will give you option of array under that array you will add multiple columns and that is how you can design your adaptive card although in this form also we are going to use one card but still we are using column set because it is quite good in case when you want to add multiple columns so here my friend the first column in under columns we have first column that is we are taking as a two and then items so in uh, let me show you a design so let me show you so here you, you can see we have like almost uh, we have parallel so you can see the first we have tell us about yourself and then we have your first name email address phone number government id and then we'll and then we have submit button so open so in that case you can see like first we have text block and that is where we are adding uh, the text like tell us about yourself and whatever style you want to add that is what you can add here again a text block and then we have the input type so this is how like wh wherever you want to show the description or you want to add something like a title and uh, like that in that case you will use text block and if you want to make it bold in that case you will use weight bolder size medium and here you will use like the text wrap is submit and we don't have any kind of a style here and that's why you can see it's quite small the way we add a description and the title you can see that is bolder and the size is medium my friend uh, after that we have name so we are adding id as a name and input type text and again then we are adding text boxes one text box for first name last name and here if you want that it should be required we need to add is 
required true and then regular expression so if anybody is, is add like anybody anybody is trying to add uh, misleading data in that case regular expression will prevent it to add any kind of uh, any misleading data and also we have error message like whenever you will add wrong data it will show that kind of message then my friend again email address in that case also we need uh, a special format and that is what we are adding here because mostly when you are working with forms you have regular expressions to validate those inputs so microsoft copilot this adaptive card also provides you that kind of facility where you can add regular expression make it required so uh, you can't receive any misleading data and then we have phone number again we have the regular expression for it and it is also required then government id you can see here and after that we have action my friend again as i told you that after type and and a title you can as data if you want to return something whenever they are clicking so that is what we have in this adoptive card so you can see let me save it so we already saved you can go for testing so want to book a flight it will ask for location delhi then pune then booking date 2024 08 and 2015 so you can see right now i will click here yes i want to book this flight and in this case we don't have any uh, we don't have any other message so i will uh, display both so i will click here and then you can see we have this form here and if i will try to input something like numbers or in email address something like this phone number something like this and government id something like that and somewhere you can see we have error messages whatever we already set up over there so what i will do is i will add mishra and then sandeep email address i will add something vat and my email address and then i will add phone number and government id and then i will click on submit so you can see after submit we have this message right and that is that is what uh, it is showing here so my friend you can see in this case uh, in case we are clicking on this option we can see uh, what is happening and then i will add another adoptive card and end conversation in that case because we don't have to show a message again so book a flight delhi pune booking date 2024 08 15 and then no so you can see again we are receiving this message that is because in both cases you can see i am uh, redirecting here on this step and that is wrong so let's fix it so we'll go here again and what i will do is i will add another message here that i don't want to book the flight and then we will end conversation so i already have a adaptive card i will explain that and i will go in properties so i will add here like ask with adaptive card in properties replace paste and save so you can see here uh, we don't have any kind of like the this is just you can say text text block so you that is what you can add with the bolder and medium sized and then you will add another one or two text block you can see and that is where you can add the message and then in action you will have end conversation and in that case my friend here will not let it go to this part will add here end conversation so that is what end conversation this is what we will add here and then save it so it will not go to this way 
so let it taste we'll go here and want to book a flight delhi pune 2024 08 15 and you can see then you will you will click on end conversation and it will uh, end this conversation so this is how my friend we created how you can design like uh, the way you will design your form uh, and display message like we had two conditions in one conditions in one condition we took information from customer in another condition we display a message that we are sorry we wouldn't be booking a flight today for you so this is how you can design your conversational boat hope this will make sense to you and using this you will able to create a customer support in your business if this is informative please like and subscribe my channel so i can create this kind of video and that is what i want from your side we took we put a lot of efforts to create this kind of videos so please like and subscribe my channel see you in next video till then bye this is sandeep misra signing out